everyone has their own goal in World of Tanks Blitz. Some seek more credits, some just want to have fun. For others, victory is the only thing that matters. Who knows about this better than anyone else? Tankers with a solid service record. We'll learn from their example about how to play on Normandy. Normandy is a combat zone set in a European countryside. But don't be deceived by the scenery, as these windmills and churches hide the enemy. The beauty of these rural surroundings is split by a clear front line that runs down the middle of the map. If there's a good position for one team, the other team will certainly have a similar position on the other side. Light tanks are the vanguard of any team. With its wide open spaces, Normandy is a perfect place for bold manoeuvres. For light tanks, Normandy offers tactical opportunities that are best suited for platoons. While your allies head towards the windmill in the centre of the map, go towards the beach. Not so you can relax in a beach chair or get a suntan, but for a special mission. As your platoon mate and other allies engage the enemy in the centre, sneak up behind the enemy's position unnoticed. When you drive up the hill, you'll be able to ambush a TD and mess up its plans. By striking from the enemy's rear, you'll quickly get under the skin of the entire enemy team. Their tanks will become distracted and vulnerable. To the sound of your allies' gunfire, you'll prove yourself not only a scout, but a dangerous hunter. But if your allies move towards the opposite flank from the beach instead of towards the windmill, leaving no one in the centre, this beach manoeuvre won't work and you'll need to use different tactics. At the beginning of the battle, your task is to spot enemy vehicles. The map's centre is the perfect place for this, and it's equally effective for both teams. Once you've spotted the first enemy, you'd better slow down and fight using the windmill as cover. It's important that you survive the initial clash so that you can unleash your late-game potential. Shoot enemies while they're distracted by allies. As soon as your opponents have noticed you, change positions and play it by ear. If your team outnumbers the enemy, spot the enemy tanks and keep them visible as long as possible or finish them off on your own if they're low on HP. If you're left all alone, don't try to attack thoughtlessly. Take advantage of your view range and concealment. Keep your distance and eliminate opponents one at a time. The house near the bottom of the map is an excellent position. It allows you to spot the enemy and shoot first. It also serves as good cover while your gun reloads. When the enemy gets closer, you can circle around the house. Now let's move on from crazy and bold light tanks to medium ones. For them, Normandy is a field for experimentation and a landscape for great achievements. If your tank has a strong turret and good gun turn limits, there's no better place to make use of these characteristics than the hill between the windmill and the three bunkers. At the beginning of the battle, spot the enemy TDs and deal the first strike. Take advantage of your position. Block damage using your turret. Scare enemy LTs near the windmill. Dangle from the cliff near the bunkers. And enjoy your superiority. Once the enemy breaks down, rush into their part of the map and finish off any stragglers. Another good spot on Normandy is the hill in front of the crashed plane. Specifically this bush, or that one on the other team's side. At the beginning of the battle, spot opponents who intend to take one of these bases. Inflict damage without remorse and take cover after each shot. This position is for patient players. Rushing forward at the wrong time means a one-way ticket straight to the garage. When your allies decide to attack, rush forward and join the assault. As slow enemy heavies and TDs are carried away by the fight, charge into their rear and carve out your own slice of the pie. Another possibility for medium tanks is the area around bases C and D. The tactics here will be similar to the previous one. Hide behind the terrain, show only your turret and carefully deal damage. As soon as the advantage is on your side, gather your allies and set out on a Euro trip. Aggressively push forward and outflank the enemy. Just don't gaze at the beauty too long. Try to aim at the enemy's vulnerable points during the hustle and bustle. 
now it's time for heavy tanks. There are several routes on Normandy for them. The choice depends on the tank you entered battle with. If you chose a vehicle with a reliable turret and a good gun, it's better to go to the already familiar windmill in the center. Make use of your strong point, your frontal armor. Block and inflict damage. Don't forget that positional combat is what you're best at. Most likely, the enemy won't dare to go straight at you. Instead, they'll try to hit you from the flanks. In this case, don't stand still. Move towards the heart of the battle and help your comrades. They'll appreciate it, and together, you'll repel any attack. This is for those who like leisurely combat. But what if you want to take a risk and push yourself to the limit? If you're looking for adventure, go to the crashed plane. As soon as you appear from behind the hill, you'll see several targets. Play boldly. Make sure your allies have your back. Occupy the hollow and make the best use of your turret. Together, you'll strike fear in everyone. Once all targets in the village have been eliminated, check out nearby areas. There will probably be a few enemy vehicles at the windmill who don't expect to be caught in a crossfire. As soon as you're done with them, set off in search of ambushing TDs. Without support, they'll be easy prey. Now imagine what two heavies can do with this. Use the terrain as cover. Choose targets with little HP left. Don't scamper around. Keep your eyes open to make sure the enemy won't outflank you. And if this does happen, attack. While your allies are busy with the main group, you can welcome other cunning foes who have just arrived. Your armor and gun are your main advantages. Let your enemies know who they're messing with. Once there are a few opponents left, they'll begin to make mistakes. And you'll enjoy the sight of enemy armor burning in this French field. Last but not least, tank destroyers. Normandy is a perfect place where they can truly prove themselves. If you drive a vehicle similar to the T110E3 or FV215B183, you can follow the heavy tanks towards the center of the map. There you will be feared and respected. If the silhouette of your tank resembles the grill, you'll need to act more subtly. Take a position at a distance. Remember that cover behind the house for a light tank? This is an excellent position for TDs. By the way, the other team has a similar place from where it's just as easy to control bases C and D. Fire at enemy tanks, and don't forget to take cover after each shot. Closer to the end of the battle, act more aggressively and drive towards the stone ahead. Roll forward, shoot and hide. These commonplace tactics will lead you to success. Another advantageous position is the bunker with bushes closer to the beach. Enemies will drive right into the line of fire. Make sure you don't miss the perfect moment for a shot. This place makes you feel like you're on vacation. But sooner or later, you'll have to leave paradise. Go to the center of the map and destroy any remaining rivals along the way. Near the end of the battle, eliminate the stragglers. And yet it was cunning to say that TDs with no armor shouldn't be on the front line. Sometimes, insolence pays off in full. Use that bush near the plane, and luck will come your way. Let the enemy cries echo throughout Normandy. Continue the fight protected by allies, and follow them when they rush into the attack. Sometimes, fragile TDs can be breakthrough vehicles. This video shows the main tactics that can be used on Normandy. Save a screenshot with advantageous positions for different vehicles. And don't forget that a lot in battle depends on the composition of teams, the actions of individual players, and plain old luck. The rest is up to you. Follow this advice, take into account the combat situation, and change plans on the fly. You can discover even more interesting tactics and positions on your own. Share them in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and good luck on the battlefield!